everybody. Uh, this is Tom Kramer from the Stanford University Libraries, and I'm here to introduce a new series called AI Tapas. Uh, these are small plates that introduce the notions and power of AI for libraries, archives, and museums. And with me today is Andre Valso from the National Library of Norway. Now, the National Library of Norway is one of the world leaders in applying AI to libraries, and Andre is going to answer some questions. Andre, I'm hearing a lot about AI right now. Uh, it's the latest buzzword for everything. And um, what is it? What is the definition of artificial intelligence? There are many definitions of what AI is, but my favorite is from uh, Professor John McCarthy at uh, Stanford University. He was the person who coined the, uh, coined the expression artificial intelligence. And he said that it's the science of engineering a science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs. It is related to the similar task of using computers to understand human intelligence. Uh, but AI doesn't have, does not have to confine its, its methods to uh, what is biologically observable. That's my favorite definition, at least. Well, so there's a lot of, uh, seems like there's a lot of overlap between AI and some other terms. So machine learning, deep learning, um, computer vision, natural language processing. What's the difference between AI and those other terms? In traditional pro programming, you have a uh, problem and you have a set of rules to solve that problem exactly. And the task is to implement those rules and solve the problem. In AI, we often have some data that is labeled in some way. For example, we know we have some books and we know the categories of the books, but we don't know exactly the rules for telling them apart. So we feed the data into the algorithm and the AI learns to uh, separate its data. It learns rules for solving the problem without any human intervention. Uh, so you could use AI for traditional knowledge classification tasks like metadata description or classification. Yeah, that is a perfectly good task for AI. That's great. Can you give more examples about how AI is particularly relevant uh, to library archives or museum work? Yes. In libraries, we have a lot of data across all kinds of mediums, photo, books, videos, and we also have a lot of metadata describing this data. And every day we get new data that needs to be classified. And based on the data we have from before, we can teach an AI how to describe the new books, the new pictures, tell what is the book about, maybe tell the Dewey, tell what is in the picture, tell something about colors, and generally produce metadata based on the data we have. Well, that sounds very promising because libraries, archives, and museums have a lot of data and not as many people as we would like. And this sounds like a potentially a revolutionary approach. Um, what do we need to cover next in our small plate series? Uh, in, the, in the next video, we are going to talk, to walk through a, uh, a seven step approach to making a simple classifier that could, for example, do a task uh, like classifying books by category or, or classifying pictures by artists. Fantastic. All right. Thank you, everyone. This has been the first video in the AI Tapas series, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.